right, here we are, live from Old Town Quilt Shop. Hello, everyone. We're still missing you, and we still can't open. <laughs> but, um, you know, stay tuned, because I know the governor is coming out with something um, tomorrow, guidelines. But it said curbside delivery, which is kind of what we've been doing all along anyway. So, I, you know, I don't anticipate us opening, a, you know, at least, well, not until they say that we can. <laughs> so we're, you know, we're not quite there yet. And uh, I don't know that I feel comfortable opening at this point. So anyway, we're going to continue to operate this way. And we really do appreciate um, all the orders that we've gotten, all the support we get from all of you. And I hope you enjoy our videos. <laughs> we do actually kind of have fun doing them. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. <laughs> okay. Today we're focusing on keeping uh, your machine in good working order. You know, we can't, we can't go out and get our nails done and we can't get our hair done, but we can take care of our machines. Our machines have been working hard for us. I know a lot of you have been sewing like mad people doing masks and finishing up projects and all of that. So your, your machines need a little TLC. So let's get to that. Okay. <laughs> all right. So if you have a drop-in bobbin, you can open your case. So this was the, this is the case that was over it and it had, um, you know, a couple of screws in it. So the machine now it has a couple of screws loose. <laughs> <laughs> so the machine, this machine, and a lot of them do come with this little tool to unscrew the the screws <laughs> to take the screws out. Although we do sell, you know, little screwdrivers as well. So when you open it, you may be as shocked as I was at how filthy this Hold is. <laughs> I mean, Ew. Look, you know, look at look at what's coming out of there. So. Once this machine is clean, it will just be a much happier running machine. I can guarantee that. But we do have tools to do that. So this is the little um, brush that this particular machine comes with. But we do sell other brushes, and that and that's some of the things that we wanted to go over. You can always, and this is also one of our favorite things. This is kind of, you know, I don't know, the redneck version. But, uh, you know, it's just a straw. And a, um, what are these things called? I forget. Pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaner. <laughs> Which you've been using for your masks. Right. So a lot of you have been using those. And that gets in some of these spots that other things don't fit into. So this will, you know, kind of do a, a big, you know, cleaning job on it. And then you can, we also sell sewing brushes. Hi, Terry. Hi, Mary. Hi, Kathy. Good to see you. I saw you earlier today. Hi, Judith. <laughs> From Phoenix, it must be hot. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then we also have this. Now, this um, kit has a brush on it, and I, this is the brush I use. I really like this brush. And then it has a, a little bottle of oil, because, you know, a lot of these want a little drop of oil on them. And then it also has a cleaning cloth to clean everything else. A lot of them have bigger screens and whatnot. So you have a, a cloth to clean everything up. So this is... This is a nice cleaning kit to, to use on your machine. Hi, Pat. How's it in Morro Bay? <laughs> <laughs> and then these cleaning brushes, which everybody <laughs> laughed at me when I said I wanted to get these. I thought they were birthday candles <laughs> because do they not look like a package of birthday candles? Come on. <laughs> but look, they have this cute little... It's like a tiny Q-tip. Yes, it's a, a, it's a mini Q-tip. And it really gets into all those. So after you've done the, the big cleaning with one of these other brushes or your little um, redneck. <laughs> <laughs> or a combination of all three. Or a combination. <laughs> then you can go back and on you know some of these areas, you're going to be surprised at what you get out with this little, with this little brush. And let me, or this little cleaning, you know, they are yeah, called brush. brushes. Um, You'll be surprised at what you get out, and your machine will be so happy and thank you for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so get your machines in order, and then if you're doing a whole lot of sewing, you want to be changing your needles. <laughs> so they say that you should change your needle every eight hours of 
every eight hours of sewing. So I know some of you people who have been sewing masks like crazy, you probably should have been going through at least two of these a day. <laughs> Do yourselves a favor and change your needle. Yeah. I had someone today who got needles and put a new needle in her machine, and she called me like an hour later and said, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> So, and again, if you just if you just need oil, you have enough brushes and all you want is oil, we do have, you know, an easy oiler. So it has the, the long spout to get into those into those spots. So I know some of the, the, the newer fancy schmancy machines don't let you put oil in, but some, you know, the older ones, you still put it in the, um, the track area of your bobbin. So, you know, if, if you want oil, we do have oil. And like I said, we do sell, you know, little um, screwdrivers. So if you don't like the screwdrivers or you've lost the little screwdriver that your machine has come with, this comes in handy. Uh, you know, a lot of times um, when you're putting on new feet or whatever, sometimes, you know, you need to tighten them up and you can't do it well with your hand and you need a little screwdriver to help you out. So that's what that's for. No, Jeff, they don't light up and melt. They're not a multi-use tool. They're just for your machine. <laughs> and Carol, I love those too. I laughed at my mom in the beginning, but these are the these, best for cleaning. These cleaning brushes really are. I mean, you're just, you're just going to feel like you just did such a good job when you get in there with those. <laughs> it's a deep clean. Yeah, it just makes you feel good. Okay, so now you've, you've cleaned up your machine and you're ready to go again. But you know, that rotary cutter, <laughs> you're having problems with it. It's probably because you need to change the blade. So give yourself a treat and get a blade for your, <laughs> for your uh, rotary cutter. And if your rotary cutter, if you've gotten mad at it, thrown it across the room, whatever, and it's not working anymore, we do sell those, but really the replacement blades. So we have the 60 and the 45, so depending on what... Um, uh, cutter size. you have, what size cutter you have. And we have the regular ones too, but the endurance blades truly do last longer. So they are worth the little extra money that you pay for those. Um, they lasted us here at the shop where we do a whole lot of cutting. They lasted like six, six months. months. And we only changed it because of the shop tour. Right, so. Hi, um, Ginger. So they really, they really do work. Yes, okay, do. so now we've preached to you about your machine <laughs> and, you know, take, you know, giving yourself a treat of, of a new rotary cutter. So, so from there, we're going to go to <laughs> what's new here in the shop. First, <laughs> Sell band-aids with every rotary blade replacement. <laughs> Good one, Jeff. Yeah, could, I guess we could do that. We could throw in a band-aid with these. <laughs> Okay, this one we showed you on one of our first ones, and I finally did finish quilting it, and we only have two of these kits left. Now, this is the top half of the panel. Right, so this is a panel, and it comes with these pre-cut, um, you know, pre-laser cut with um, fusible on them. So you just iron them on to the, to the panel, and then you can stitch them down. I used the um, buttonhole stitch. But you can do what you know, do whatever you want, and then quilt it, and it makes a cute wall hanging for your sewing room. So there's only two of these left. So get them while they're hot. And we have them for a song. Right. They're what are they? Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars for those. And believe me, that's cheaper than you're ever going to get it anywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. What's new? We have a little Christmas that came in. So this is a bunny hill design pattern called Ho Ho Ho. And it uses this um, Moda Country Christmas Charm okay. Pack. So we have, we have the uh, pattern and the charm pack. And then we have some of the fabric on, on the bolt. So we have the little um, holly leaves and then these little... This is an off-white. Hard to get. Yeah, it's a it's a it's cream kind of a with little, little star white type. stars on it, and then we've got Christmas trees with kind of a little dot background, and then these guys, the cutest little snowmen. Yes, faces. It's just tiny little faces, little mm -hmm. little carrot noses. <laughs> okay, so that's so that's the Christmas. 
Then we have a little bit of wine fabric. <laughs> we have corks. And don't we all want to have a wine party? Yes, yes we do. Cheese and wine and little some grapes and strawberries. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. This line is called Uncork and Unwind, and it's in the all the new stuff category. It's also in Novelty, Food, and Wine. So this one's available, and would this be a cute mask? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then in sewing, we got some spools of thread in. So this is cute. This The line is called Sewing Emporium, also in... Um, all the new stuff, novelty, and sewing. Oh, it's, it's got pretty, some nice bright, yeah, pretty colors with a kind of a tan beigey background. And then we got a couple of batiks in, hot kind of a hot blue. pink and a and a dark blue. So again, batiks make fabulous fabrics for masks. Mm -hmm. So we continue to have you know batiks, and then we got a couple of blue basics because blue seems to be everybody's color and favorite color and we we love it too so we can never resist them <laughs> and those are called dapple and we have the dapple gray which has been a pretty popular one for the guys and I can actually show you what the dapple gray that's the dapple gray we do still have some of it so that's that the wall hanging Jeff are you talking about the so colorful this one it is probably not in all the new stuff. That one is going to be under kits, and it's called the So Colorful Color Wheel Panel Kit by Michael Miller. Yeah, it has a bottom part that goes over the um, the rest of the color wheel, and the kit also comes with a a, a book regarding color and then um, some patterns for some other things. And and if you ro watch Rob Appel's um, videos. He's been going over that. He's been doing yeah. some of the uh, patterns out of the out of the kit. So, you know, get them while they're like I said, get them while they're hot because <laughs> there just aren't that many, and we only have two of them left. So, okay, okay. So for this week's special, we're going to have everything in in the needles and pins category in the uh, you know online. So when you go to check out, you'll enter needle 15 n-e-e-d-l-e-1-5 -E -E <laughs> at the checkout for for your discount okay so you'll get a 15 percent discount and so when you when you treat yourself to or your machine to new needles or if you need new pins to pin everything because you've been pinning through so many layers on those masks <laughs> then you know you can get 15 percent off on those items all right Okay. So did we have any questions out there? Anybody wants to ask us anything? Haven't any? seen anything yet. Oh, um, we restocked batting. Yeah. So I'm going to swing around here. Pay no attention to the mess. <laughs> okay, batting. So we've got cotton batting. We have the poly and poly blends. And then we restocked wool as well. So we do have... Um, plenty of batting now, so if you guys are finishing up projects, then we have batting for you. All right, so anything else? So, you know, we continue to not have elastic <laughs> <laughs> because that is on elastic is on back order for us. However, they do have it at Creation Station and at SoFun, yep. so you can, you, you know, you can get it. And that's where we keep directing everyone to go because they seem to have excellent suppliers that they're plugged into. So they're get they're getting it, and you know we're just choosing. Well, we can't we can't seem to get it, and it's not something we normally carry a lot of anyway. We've not been able to get any of the fusible interfacing either. So at this point, we don't have that. Okay. But, go ahead. The red, white, and blue. I'll take you up there and show you that, Pauline. Cheryl, no, we are not opening this Friday. We will stay with our, um, you know, pickup only. I think that's kind of what um, the governor is talking about anyways. And can you show us some of the wall quilts? I'll show those when we go up to the table. And yes, Roxanne's also has elastic and I believe uh, So Fun um, yes. and Atascadero has it. Right, So Fun and Creation yes. Station I know definitely have 
elastic. Yes. Okay. So let me tell us more about the little Christmas pattern and charm pack, please. All right. So I'm going to flip around. And so Pat, I'm going to show you the Christmas stuff. And then Pauline, we're going to go look at the um, uh, table runner. Okay. So this makes a 24 and a half by 13 and a half wall hanging. It's applique. And you do use the charm pack. And then it takes a little, it takes fat ace of most everything, you know, everything else. And we don't have every, you know, all the fabrics that are on the pattern cover. That's what we have. This is what But we certainly for. have fabrics that would work with it. So you can, you can make it your, make it your own thing. You don't have to follow exactly, but we do have this, which would do all the, that's going to do all the appliques. So yeah. the, the charm pack will, will get you those appliques and then you can do whatever you want with the background. And we do have some of them. No, Jeff, it's not a kit because we don't have all this stuff for it, but you could get the pattern and the charm pack. And then if you wanted to get um, some of the yardage of what we do have, because we only have those four, but it calls for a fair bit more. Um, you know, we don't have those, 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 the stripe. <laughs> <laughs> but we have other ones. But there are the things that would work. Yeah. Just look in the Christmas. Um, if you go to holiday and then Christmas, then you'll see everything. Okay, so while we walk up, Terry, here's your quilts on the wall. And then we will go, who makes the wine fabric? Uh, Robert Kaufman, because we just got all those in. Everything that we got in today was Robert Kaufman. Well, the Christmas is Moda. Oh, Christmas is Moda, but everything else was Kaufman. All right, so we're going up front. Needles and pins, so you can be nice to yourself and your machine. And then try not to make everybody sick. More wall quilts. Hey, Joan. Joan, if you see Penny, we have her batting for her. Okay. So we've kind of made this our will call table. <laughs> Remarkably, people have picked stuff up, so I don't have a whole lot on here today. Sometimes this table is completely packed. All right, so this is the red, white, and blue runner. And this is the pattern for it. I know it looks nothing like it, <laughs> but it's Autumn Splendor. And this is what it looks like. So the size on that is 16 by 48. And if you're wanting the fabric, that is here. And it's called Summertime. So we use the Summertime fabric. And I think at one point we had a kit. So if you wanted a kit, we could kit that for you. Okay. Yeah, because we put in some grunge. Yeah, because we added a few other things. We put in some grunge and some other um, blue basic. All right. So I don't see any other questions. So if anybody else needs anything, let us know. You're welcome. All right. Quick little scan of everything. Still got the new Tula, so I found a pattern that I want to do that actually my mom had made me a quilt a long time ago <laughs> that used a panel, and it's a traditional, it's actually a pretty traditional quilt, but I really want to use Tula Pink in it. And I'm thinking about fussy cutting these wonderful sewing machines on there. I think it would be great. So that's one thing that I've got on the back burner at any rate. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is what we're going to be showing you next week. Um, we will have it finished. So Carrie Missamore wants the red, white, and blue runner kit with the pattern. All right, Carrie, thank you. We will get that for you. Um, it is not online at the moment. So if you want it, please email us or message us on Facebook. <laughs> um, yeah, so Paisley Splash will be showing you next week. We do have kits currently and they are online. Um, so if you want one, um, it uses this really cool um, Natalie Barnes fabric, which I love. I've been hoarding <laughs> her fabric. I have a stash. 
of hers. So, so it makes a 22 by 32 wall hanging, but you have enough fabric left over to do, you could do a wider white border and then um, take all of these fabrics here and make squares around it and make a white, you know, make a wider border. You can make a full quilt out of this if you wanted to. So the summer runner actually is called Autumn Splendor. <laughs> <laughs> but we just didn't use autumn fabrics. Because, <laughs> you know, we love autumn so much. Okay, well, I guess that's everything. Um, if you have any further questions, please let us know. Otherwise, otherwise, we'll probably see you soon, I hope. <laughs> you know, yes. we'll, but we'll keep you informed what's going on as far as an actual opening. You know, I don't en envision the classroom opening for a while, mm -mm. but the um, but the shop hopefully, you know, maybe by the, you know the middle or the end of the month. Yep. So that's kind of what we're looking at. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We yes. do enjoy this, and yeah. we like to see that people are out there. <laughs> yes, yes. It's nice to know that you're out there. And again, you know, we appreciate your orders. We appreciate your your positive feedback and you know if you have any um, critiques we like that too so you know feedback right anything just just yep. anything to help us out but thank you for thank you for joining us yes thank you so much and I will answer all of the questions that you are still um, sending through I will text you those message you those all right everyone thank you have a good rest of your day bye, bye.